Hey crafties, in today's video I'm going to show you my mini October daily kit and album that I've just whipped together because I didn't want to miss out on the Halloween fun. Um, I know I'm a bit late to the game but it's better late than never. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Firstly I want to apologise for this glare here. I've got a light just right above and um, I didn't think it would be an issue until I've started filming. <laughs> But uh, I'll try and sort that out for future videos. So you haven't got that glare. Right, anyway, so this is all I'm using for my October daily. If I need something else, I'll just grab it out my stash. But this is everything that I know I'm going to want to use. And it's just in this little drawer. It's um, from my Kallax unit thing. Um, I got some new drawers for my Clax unit and this is just one of the drawers out of it. So yeah, I'm using the Booville and Bootyful, Bootyful <laughs> collection by Doodlebug Designs. And then just other bits that I've got in Happy Mail. And yeah, let's go through it. So this is my album. I'll go through that in more detail at the end. Let's take everything out and have a look through it. So I've just got this little tray thing. It's got three compartments and then one long at, at the back. So that just pops into the top. So whenever I'm working on my October daily, I can just pull the drawer out, put this on my desk, and then I've got everything there. Um, I've got some die cuts from the Beautiful Night collection here. Here's the exact same one, but opened. Let's move that other side. And I pulled out my Halloween stamps. I don't have many. I have um, a Serena Bay's three stamps that she's made. And I've got one there from Simon Says Stamp. So I've got them out. And here's a sticker sheet from the Bouville. I bought an extra sticker sheet with because I bought the collection and the stickers come with it and I just bought an extra sheet because I always go through them so quickly and then I've already obviously started cutting into all the papers that I'm using um for my album and other things so these this is just the scrap bits from my album um out of the collection and this is the digital collection of Bootyful that I've printed off. Um, so I've got them papers as well. And yeah, there's the other stickers that comes with the paper pack. So this is the Booville paper pack. I also got like the, um, it's just like the generic patterns that go with it. That's what this is. But that came as a 12 by 12 pack, but I've cut in every single one already from the album. And then, yeah, so I've got that. And then I actually got the essentials pack as well for some extra papers. And then I got some a few embellishments and things and that. But I've took everything out and put it into one, one of these. And then that's just out of that, but I wanted to use it for the... Um, journaling cards and banner things and whatnot. So, and then I got these two spider web, holographic spider webs, which is from Beautiful Nights collection. And this seems to be empty. <laughs> I think that's where the stickers were, but I took them out to have a look at them before. Um, yeah, so I just put everything in the bottom all the papers, all the 12 by 12 papers and things in the bottom and all the papers like that and then I've got my embellishments in this little tray here so let's go through this this one first that's just a bit twine and uh, tool from Happy Mail so I've got my washi tapes in this one and some googly eyes. Um, so I've got, this is all the Halloween washi I own. I don't own many 
To me, this is a lot. I don't really use washi tape. I like to buy it and look at it, <laughs> but I never gravi gravitate towards it. So there's the rolls I've got. And then these two are brand new that I bought with the Bouville collection. I absolutely love the purple with the spiders. So I'm going to try and use um, more washi in this album than I normally do. And then these two pieces, or these four are from Etsy shops that I got ages and ages ago when I first started crafting that I haven't gotten through yet. So I've put them there. I think I might start using them first so I can get rid of these. These I had them for years. And then I got this in some Happy Mail. Absolutely gorgeous. So put all that back. So that's my washi tape compartment. And then I just put the googly eyes in there because they fit better. And then in this compartment, it's all sequences. So in here, I've got like a sequence mix. I think I've got received in Happy Mail. And then some couplet liners and some more sequences that I can pick through. They're not very organized in there. Like I say, I've had them for years as well. From when I first started crafting. And then these which is also received in some happy mail and then other bits so we've got some skulls there these are cats black cats and purple cats these are bats these are pumpkins and spiders and I also got this brooch on the coffin from uh, Serena's Happy Mail last year. I thought I could use that somewhere on my album or something like that. So I put that in there anyway. So that's my sequence compartment. And then in this compartment, it's just got some scrap bits of paper in that I would probably just make this tub a mess if I put it in there because it's all like cut off bits. Like, I don't even know why I'm keeping that from doing the tabs in my album. Yeah, I just stuck them in there. Um, in the back here, this came from the Essentials Pack and it is the, it's buttons. I don't really, I've never really used buttons in my scrapbooking so this will be a challenge to put these down as well. They're very pretty. I hope I gravitate towards them, we'll see. And just a tag. I got in some happy mail and that glitter bat and I can't wait to use this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Am I even in frame guys? Tell it's a long time since I made a video and I'm not in my usual space because I've got a new craft room. If you haven't seen my, um, like I made a quick video just saying hi and give you up, like a life update kind of thing in my last video. If you haven't seen it and you want to check it out, I'll leave it in a card up here. And explains where I've been and things. So here are some journaling cards from Happy Mail. And then we've got these embellishments. So we've got the enamel stars from the Bouville collection. Which goes up to the front of my front cover. Um, I've got them little spiders. Aren't they so cute? I love those. I wish I got two packs now. And then I got the Doodle Pops, which would be good on cards. And then this came in the Essentials Pack. I've probably not used this. It's just a bit of ribbon. And it says October, Boo, Candy, Pumpkin, Trick or Treat, Spiders. I might use it, I don't know. We'll see. And, oh, this came in the uh, Essentials Pack as well. How cute are those little sweets? So... Yeah, and then in the back here, this compartment here, which is just like a long compartment, I've got stickers and things. So this came in a October daily kit um, that I got years ago. Uh, how many years? Two years ago that I never got round to using. I was going to use it for me December daily last year. Um, 
but didn't end up using them so I'm definitely going to use them this year. Um, it's just some stamps I've already done. These stickers, absolutely beautiful. I love the purple one, I can't wait to use that purple blue. And then in here I've just got some die cuts, spider webs, trees, haunted houses. That I also die cutted years ago and never got around to using them. And then some pumpkin faces and a skull. I've got some half used Halloween words and letters here. I've got some paper bags. Paper bags here. Sorry guys, I keep going off frame and I don't realise until I look at the camera. I'll try and stay in frame. And then we've got these, these are beautiful night mini icon stickers. So you get two, two of the same like designs, two sheets. I like getting these because they're, they're good for like small spaces and I've got like small spaces in this album that I can document in. And then just more stickers. I absolutely love that little spider there. Can you see it like looking up? It would be good on the like corner of a photograph looking up at the photo. Absolutely gorgeous. And then bats. So we've got some more stickers and some more stickers. And some more stickers. And some purple bat bling there. The zombies. I absolutely love those. <laughs> Had them for years. And then these two sheets came with the essentials pack in the Booville. So, and then I got two of these from the Beautiful Night. And that's about it. Really, guys, that's all I have gathered together. I'm, uh, I didn't want to put too much stress on myself of, you know, having been overwhelmed with too much stuff. And I did just decide to do it last minute. I've been watching the videos and looking at all the Halloween stuff online and I was feeling a bit left out. So I thought I'd join the game late. So, yeah, I'm really, really lucky because I... I made like a last minute order on scrapbook.com and normally it takes about a month to get here but it only took a week I was so happy about that because I was just thinking I'll just do a um, Halloween memories uh, October memories album at the end with when the pack came but it came in time so that made us very happy and spurred us on to just make an October daily so yeah just put everything back here. Let me show you my album. So I made a... Sorry about that glare, guys. I'll leave that there so it doesn't look so bad. Um, or does that look worse with a shadow? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, yes, I made a paper bag album with a chipboard back cover and front cover. And it's got lots of tabby bits and things. So I just used the kinch to bind it all together. When I'm finished documenting inside of it, I will decorate the front cover and probably put lots of tool and hangy bits from here but while I'm working on it I don't want to be um, restricted from working on it because of everything on the side so <laughs> I'm, I'd always do that thing last. So yeah um, it's a paper bag mini album. I think I've got a tutorial on how to make this. I think or it might be project share I'm not sure but uh, I'll link it up here if I can find it <laughs> for you guys to have a look yeah. so I'm planning on putting the prompts here and then yeah so the six bag pages all together there and then every single one has got a pocket on the front with a pull out bit there and then every single bag has got two mats inside. And then it's a... Oh. 
so there's plenty room to document the whole month and I'm not going to go crazy anyway I'm not going to put like loads of pictures in a day I, I'm just going to put one picture in a day um, if I even put a picture in on some days because some days I might not be doing anything and then I'll just use something from a prompt um, and do something like that and then the days where I am actually doing something I'll use a couple of pages to document like more pictures but I, I'm confident that I've got enough um, space to document everything I need. These are so easy to make and so quick. I made this in one night. Um, I lie, I, don't, I didn't make it in one night. I cut all the, um, I made the bones of it in one night and then I did the matting the next night and then kinched it all together. So yeah, that's it. I think that's all, yes. So that is my mini October kit and album share. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.